My dear students, welcome to week seven uh, of your English language and literature for grade seven. This week extends from February 18th till February 22nd. We're going to start this lesson or this unit with subject verb agreement. Uh, first of all, we're going to introduce or we're going to have an introduction to subject verb agreement, adding S and ES to nouns and to verbs. Um, we're going to have the word wall, singular subjects, plural subjects, singular verb forms, S or S, plural verb forms, uh, no S or ES. You're going to start with a PowerPoint presentation about this lesson. You're going to listen to a video about adding ES um, to words, and you're going to write effective notes. You will have an interactive activity after that. You're going to watch a video about singular and plural nouns. You will have another interactive activity uh, related to that, further practice, and for, of course, a self-assessment quiz. Now, for the challenging question, you will have a link that you are going to press on for the challenging question. And for what to do, to, to do next, revise everything you took today, click on the picture to take you to the activity. Uh, lesson two is also subject verb agreement part two. We're going to explore what is subject verb agreement. Our word wall is going to include compound subjects, compound nouns, uh, interventing, uh, intervening uh, phrases, uh, relative pronouns, subject verb agreement rules. You will have a PowerPoint presentation and after that you're going to watch a video about subject verb agreement. You will have an interactive activity and then you are going to watch another video that talks about subject verb agreement and concentrates on verbs. Uh, you will have another interactive activity and for the further explanation, you are going to explore what is meant by subject verb agreement. A self-assessment and a challenging question through a link. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to copy the following exercise on your notebook and answer the question. Uh, singular and plural noun exercises. Make the plural form of the following nouns. For lesson three, you are going to work on simple compound and complex sentences. You're going to understand what, what clauses are, how to connect them, and how to use them. Uh, the word wall is going to include clauses, dependent, independent, conjunctions, main clause, complex sentences, subordinators, compound sentences, and simple sentences. We will have a PowerPoint presentation first about the kinds of sentences. You are going to watch a video that explains types of sentences. And then for activity one, it's going to be identification. You're going to identify which of the sentences provided are simple sentences and which are not. Then you are going to, uh, to watch another video about simple compound and complex sentences. You will have an interactive activity related to Savas, your, uh, the online, uh, your online book, and then further practice. For the challenging question, you will have a link where you are going to answer questions, a self-assessment related to, um, to kinds of sentences. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to write down what are conjunctions and what is the difference between coordinate and subordinate conjunctions. Of course, there will be the end of the unit reflection on week seven, where you're going to review your work right to the end of the unit reflection. Our word wall is going to include review, weakness, strength, discussion, reflection, success, engagement, challenges, and analysis. You're going to watch a video about the end of the unit reflection, and you're going to have an interactive activity. You're going to use a live worksheet to write your uh, reflection. Then you are going to watch a video about the end of the unit reflection and how important is it. You will have it is, and you will have another interactive activity and further practice about the importance of uh, end of the unit reflection. For the challenging question, you are going to reflect on a time when you, where you were faced with a significant ethical dilemma. You're going to reflect on that, how it shaped your experience, how it shaped your understanding, how it changed you to you, how it's going to change your approach to similar uh, situations in the future. You will have a self-assessment and you're going to answer questions on your notebook related to the unit uh, for what to do tomorrow. 
I can't wait to start this unit with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.